From the moment we meet Tori, she has been fighting her way for respect and survival. Her actions along the way have seemed somewhat questionable and many times horrible. Oops, sorry, princess. Do all of Tori's struggles justify the terror she has brought upon Sam and other Miyagi-Do students? Let's delve deeper and break down whether Tori can be redeemed. Cool. Yeah. Just like Daniel and Johnny, Sam and Tori are also depicted as polar opposites. Sam is the privileged daughter of Daniel and Amanda, who own the Rosso Auto Group, living in the well-to-do area of Encino in the valley. Tori, on the other hand, struggles to make ends meet. She is the daughter of a poor waitress who did everything she could to put food on the table for her family. Tori recounts to Miguel that her mom would bring home leftover meals from the diner for them, instead of throwing the food into the garbage. When the manager discovered what her mom was doing, she was fired. This story serves as Tori's view of the world as one of survival. It is almost as if Tori views the world as one giant karate match. She tells Miguel, the world shows no mercy, so why should we? Some people have it good, but the rest of us, we have to fight for every inch of what's ours. Not just to score a point, but for everything. When Aisha compliments Tori on her spiked bracelet, she lets her know that the bracelet just isn't for show. She once used her spikes on a guy who grabbed her at the mall. Tori had to grow up quickly, as she tells Aisha that she had already taken some kickboxing lessons prior to joining Cobra Kai. Is it safe to say that Tori has seen it all? But does that justify her taking out all of her aggression on Sam and the rest of the Miyagi-Do students? You can't make that promise. Tori's first impression of Sam is negative. Even before they ever meet, Aisha paints a bad picture of Sam as someone she doesn't trust. She lets Tori know that she isn't too happy to go to the clubhouse because Sam might be there, and the two of them aren't on good terms. For someone who already has trust issues, it doesn't help to have that negative scoop about Sam before ever meeting. When Tori is accused of stealing Sam's mother's wallet shortly after, we get the feeling that the road to Sam and Tori becoming friends is going to be very steep. When Sam beats Tori in their drinking contest, she then continues to aggravate Tori by kissing Miguel. Seeing Miguel kiss back is another stab to Tori's heart. She trusted that Miguel was on her team as both her boyfriend and her dojo member. He is now fraternizing with the enemy, and Tori has reached her tipping point. To Tori, Miguel is just like everyone else from her past. He has betrayed her trust. The sweet and caring Tori that we saw during her dates with Miguel is gone. Her Cobra Kai training is taking charge and the mantra of no mercy begins to take effect. The script has been flipped. No matter how bad Tori's past has been, this does not seem to justify how she has taken her rivalry with Sam over the edge. Deep down, Tori wants everything that Sam has been given in the world. She sees Sam as an adversary and challenges her to a drinking contest in front of everyone at the party. She wants everyone to see her lose and is ready to go toe to toe with her at every opportunity. She even knocks Sam off her feet at the roller rink on 80s night. In hockey, we would call that a cheap shot. That is Suspension City right there. Why does Tori hate Sam as much as she does? Sam comes from a family who is well off and she was able to distance herself from any punishment from the school brawl. On the other hand, Tori was expelled from school and has to complete probation after the events at West Valley High. After feeling humiliated from seeing Miguel and Sam kiss, Tori takes her aggression to the next level and threatens Sam over the PA system in front of the entire school, resulting in a brutal brawl. When Tori turns her bracelet of spikes inside out, we see that she's willing to fight to the death. She is threatened by Sam, who she sees as taking the one thing that is good in her life. Miguel, Tori sees it as a fight for survival. Even though Sam won the fight, Tori was still able to induce psychological harm over Sam. In season three, we see that Sam has PTSD and panics whenever she is confronted by Tori. In a moment of pure terror, Tori calls out Sam and hunts her down in the laser tag arena. Sam is unable to help Dimitri because she has a panic attack remembering their encounter. Tori even pressures Hawk to break Dimitri's arm. How can Tori redeem herself after breaking into the LaRusso home and assaulting all of the students meeting there? Is there any way that she once again avoids juvenile detention? Tori will now be breaking parole. So is it possible that her role in season four diminishes greatly? Guess I'll have to make my own fun. As we have seen with Johnny Lawrence's story arc, the big theme of Cobra Kai is redemption. When watching The Karate Kid at first, most of us perceive Johnny to be the villain of the story. He bullies Daniel and takes the role as Kreese's second in command. There seems to be no hope for Johnny. When we see him in The Karate Kid 2, we begin to feel sorry for him, as Kreese attacks him after losing to Daniel in the All Valley Tournament. 30 years later, we have Johnny's full redemption arc, as he successfully teaches a new band of students to win. The procedure for redemption in The Karate Kid universe exists, 
no matter how evil the doer. There was even a moment when we felt sympathy for Kreese after learning that he is homeless and his mom suffered from mental health issues. Even his backstory made us feel for him after seeing the torture he had gone through in Vietnam. Redemption is also possible for Tori. From what we've seen, there are some indications that it may be too early to cast Tori off just yet. Mr. Miyagi had the philosophy that there are no bad students, only bad teachers. Unfortunately, at the moment, Tori is under the guidance of one bad teacher named Kreese. We have seen what can happen when a sensei mentors a pupil in the wrong direction. Hawk idolized Kreese's teachings, and we all witness a significant change in his character. He even changed the color of his hair. However, Hawk was able to break away from the destructive teachings of Cobra Kai and made a conscious decision to refrain from breaking breaking Dimitri's arm. Again, yes, that seems like an easy decision to make, but Hawk was under a strong hold from Kreese and a heavy amount of peer pressure from his Cobra Kai family to break another one of Dimitri's arms. Even Chosen had a redemption story after all these years. We see him change to gain a sense of humor, the type the Three Stooges would be proud of. We still feel that there is hope for Tori. When Kreese visits Tori at her home, she tells Kreese that she has to stay out of trouble as she can't go to juvie. She knows that her sick mother and younger brother count on her. Kreese tells her that she can always strike back, and Tori recognizes that is what got her into this mess in the first place. We see Tori show regret for the school brawl as she declares to Kreese that Miguel's injury was her fault. Tori has heart, and it is on full display in this scene. The problem is, Tori needs Kreese to help her situation. She feels loyalty to him, as he has been helping her pay rent and, as a result, helping her sick mother and brother at the same time. Kreese was able to help her beat eviction, as well as take care of her landlord who was sexually harassing her. She also wants to continue her karate lessons, and Kreese is offering her to train at Cobra Kai for free. At the moment, Tori feels like she doesn't have any other choice. There may come a time when Tori realizes that making a deal with Kreese, no matter the benefit, is making a deal with the devil. Tori, after all, is still just a teen, led astray. The new mentor or sensei can lead her to see the world in a different light. Even a new friend who fills the gap that Aisha left would bring back the sweet and caring Tori that we all know exists. Welcome back. Thanks. Is there more to Tori than meets the eye? Two popular fan theories have emerged surrounding Tori's family lineage. Many fans believe that Tori was actually Allie's daughter after she introduces herself in a similar way, as Allie once did with Daniel. That theory has since been debunked and given way to a new theory that Tori is actually Terry Silver's daughter. Remember him in the Karate Kid 3? The theory is that Tori's last name, which sounds like the mineral, nickel, is code for silver. If in some way that theory actually ends up becoming true, can you imagine going up against Terry and Tori in a family feud? Just make sure you spell her name correctly. It's Tori with a Y. 